that's why you're complaining, is it? You're not working. There we go. Now it's letting me change it. So now, there we go. That doesn't look too bad, I don't think. What do you think, Corey? So the back of my head is now... I'm not going to have it purely terracotta, because I think it does look a little bit weird. So for maybe... Yeah. Do you want me to uh, jump back on for when we do the chiseling bits on the face? Yes. Uh, I'm going to... What I'm going to do is try and make this look... That's good. It's looking decent from over here. Yeah, I would say. So, so if I do... Yeah. It looks a, from far away, though, Cyclops. it looks a bit more like a South Park character <laughs> than <laughs> a Minecraft character. I think what I might do is dot in a few bits... I'm almost tempted to do the entire thing out of yellow wool and then I just want some sort of imperfections in there. I don't want it to all be entirely terracotta. It's, if I have some darker patches, what I think I've got a better idea. I've got a better idea. I'm gonna use this yellow wool, which I'm gonna put here, then exchange it, and then I'll exchange this all into yellow wool rather than terracotta, and I'll use yellow ye uh, yellow terracotta to act as like the darker bits, if that makes sense. That makes sense, Corey? Makes sense to me, yeah. So I'll start with a bit of a blank canvas in a minute. Yeah, so at the minute that's looking a bit too blonde, but I think if I, once I've added some darker bits, this should be looking pretty cool. Yeah, I think this goes quite well, Corey, just to add a bit of depth to my hair. I mean, the yellow is possibly a bit too bright, but there's not really too much I can do about that. That's just the way yellow wool looks in Minecraft. Okay, the back of my head. I mean, the face at the minute is really, really derpy, but it's not the end of the world. And then I think I'll use some, some sort of pink material. Maybe pink, pink concrete. I think concrete seems like the appropriate material. I think, luckily, I can actually have... The mouth is kind of... Okay. So if I have it there, it then needs to be... Oh god, this is going to look really derpy. Oh my god. Um, do you want me to chisel your face? Um... Yes, because <laughs> at the minute, that is a bit broken. Like, I don't know whether to use chiseling bits or whether to just, like, make the head... Like, delete one layer of this and then bring the head, like, one layer down. I can't quite decide. Uh, nah, let me chisel it and okay, we'll see what we're, we can we'll do. We'll let you chisel it and then we'll be right back. Hey guys, we're back. Uh, this is the eyes that I've done with the chiseling bits. What do you think, Morgan? I think that's looking pretty cool, actually. Definitely looks a lot better than before, now that it's all connected. I'm going to go check on what you're doing, Ethan. That is a, yeah. that is a cool looking place, I must admit. Sorry. It's not bad. Yeah, I'd definitely go uh, get a Westy Spoons. It seems more high class than a McMorgan's, I think. <laughs> or a TFC. I think we'll, uh, do you want to switch over then, Corey, and I'll finish off doing the face? Uh, yeah, I'll let you finish off the face. Okay, guys, me again. So, what Corey's basically sort of done the outline. I can basically... Uh, have you morphed me back? No, I'm still in there. Uh, what morph are you in? I might go into bat mode. Bat mode might seem... Uh, seems like it'd be a cool morph to go with. Does that seem like a cool idea, Corey? Corey, does that morph seem like a cool idea? That morph seems good to me, man. Oh, so I don't know how you do chiseling bits, it's just so tedious. I do not think I have the patience at all to do, to do chiseling bits. I think what I'll do, guys, is there's one other thing I want to do with chiseling bits, is that's the underside of my sort of mouth here. So I think I'm going to fix this underneath here and I'll be right back. Okay, okay guys, so that's pretty much the statue done. I'll go back into my normal morph. So as you can see, the, all this has been chiseling bits into uh, the normal skin colour so my mouth is there and not poking through the bottom of the statue. I'll give you guys a bit of a three like dimensional tour of the entire thing. So this is, pr is this pretty much complete, Corey, would you say? I think, uh, yeah, I'd I will say, say but... the body isn't. I've just realised the body's not done. I've not like done the collar or anything. <laughs> yep. Okay. So I believe I have a bit of a collar line that's uh, like it's just two blocks, pretty much. Like there's that. I need to know how, how long is the actual body? That's one thing I should probably consider. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's centered, isn't it? So that's the t little bit in the middle that I'm going to need some, like... Oh, 
plays black terracotta and blue. She's. I think I'll use blue concrete. Blue concrete. I don't. Mm, actually, not blue concrete. I'll use light blue terracotta. That seems to. That seems to match it. So then I kind of have a bit of a. So yeah, going directly down from it, I have a one, one, two, three. This is going to be the black terracotta. I have light blue terracotta there. It's not entirely black, but I don't think I have anything that dark of a shade of blue. That's the only problem. Yeah, I don't have anything that dark of a shade of blue, so black's just going to have to do, really. Um, so I did not mean to go into F1 mode there. Um, so then I've got some black bits there, which have that underneath. So that's basically my shirt line. I've then got a little... I've got some light grey wool. And the light grey wool is going to be on the pocket line. So the pocket line is going to be... I think you will have a pocket about there. That's basically where it is in this. No, it's a bit lower, I'd say. I'll lower it by one block. Light grey wool. So yeah, this is just a miniaturised version of it, so I'm gonna have to have it there. I thought, actually, what I might do is, um, yeah, because this is, this is more of a miniaturised statue, I'm gonna have to bump that up, I'll put that there, and then I'll bump the pocket up, just so it looks a little bit more natural than it does now. So I think what I'll do, guys, is I'll finish up the statue and I'll be right back. Okay, okay, guys. So that's the statue pretty much done. I think. Yeah, we got looking around my entire skin. That looks like. Yeah, I think that's pretty much the entire skin done. Actually, besides maybe like some tiny little details and stuff, I'd say that's pretty much the majority of the statue done. So what I'll do is check on Ethan's build. Is it? Wow, it's taken some a pretty nice shape actually. So the interior. I'd say should we have add some windows. Yeah. Yeah, probably. I'm just trying to think what type of windows. Are there any windows that are just simply... There's no like just um, two by one windows, are there? Are there any two by one, one windows? There's like bay windows, but I think they're two by two, if I remember, remember correctly. Yeah, they're not two by one. So I might just have to use glass as the windows. Although I know in like pubs and stuff, they always have those sort of windows that open, don't they? So what I might do is have... What sort of windows should we have? These kind of windows, Corey? Uh, the ones that kind of open on the shutter? No, nah, we've... I think we'll just have normal glass windows. What What do you think, Ethan? Oh, I know in Spurs they, they have the windows that open, like... I don't know, I think... Just, do you think if we had something like this and then the windows that can then... If you want, I mean, old buildings did have big windows if... You know, if you yeah. want to go like that. So, but if you want to just stick with simple glass, I don't mind either way. What, what do you think, Corey? Uh, they have vintage windows. What are these vintage windows? I don't think they are, no, You can't interact with them. You can look out of them. I just want a window that. Because I know in the pubs Greenhouse windows. Razzle? What the hell's Razzle? It's a bizarre looking colour, I must admit. You what, mate? Um, I just want like a brown. Maybe like a bay window. What wooden windows? So what if then, say here, we had these windows like that? Which one do you think? I'd say you know, the problem with bay windows is they st that's not how they sit. They, bay windows are meant to sit. Yeah, they're meant like, to stick out a bit. Yeah, they're meant to be like that. Yeah, blocks will go at the side angle. Side angle? Why? You, that's pretty much how the bay would look. Unless you just use uh, them chisel blocks, whatever. Chisel blocks for windows? Yeah, for see, the side bits. Sort of. See, I think what we'll do, guys, is we'll be right back when we have a window. Okay, guys, so just a bit of an update about what me and Corey have been doing. So, uh, not touch the stature or anything, we've just mainly been working on Westy Spoons. So I believe we're expanding on, uh, expanding with a new floor, Corey. 
yes. I so right. we've done a little bit of stuff in here. We've decorated. We've got a bar. We've got some tables and chairs and stuff. I believe you're adding an upstairs. As we speak. We've got like a bit of a outstairs area out here. Do you get like roof lights, maybe. Yeah, you get roof lights. Um, yeah. One second. How are you going to get to the top floor? I mean. Uh, oh, we can add the circular staircase. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. not a bad yeah. idea. I was gonna say, we could have had that. I was going to say, oh, are we going to go the conventional way and just have douche elevator? Nah, forget the elevator. I think you because this is go. an old fashioned building, we want the uh, staircase. It's circular stairs aren't that bad of an idea, isn't it? Where are we going to have them, though? That's one question to we'll, consider. We'll go for the. Uh, you could always move the car one. Yes? One I would maybe block, say maybe. Um, move it one block down because, like, Look how cramped it is up here. How? So yeah, so what are we going to lower the roof, Corey? Like, is that going to be a thing? Do we need to lower the roof? Because it looks, it's very cramped up here. Can you not destroy any more of those blocks? Or You could maybe get a bit of this, but you can't destroy any... Ah, uh, no, okay. That's the problem. So... Okay, put those back, just lower it down a level now. Move the door a little bit to the right, maybe. Maybe not. Or why are you going to get into the box? Is it? Okay. I'd maybe say we need to lower it one by one more quarry. And I'd maybe hang on. Let me come down. Let me come down. Maybe second. just move the entrance to the bar somewhere okay. else. Bad idea. You can move it one block down if you want. Like I would, I'd say that might be. What if we have the staircase here, Corey? So it starts like. Here. I think it looks better in the corner of the room, though, doesn't it? You could try. Yeah. I don't yeah. You could still access the outside as well. Yeah. How are you going to get into the bar? Yeah, that's what I said. Uh, we'll figure something out. I mean, the only way you could do it is if you did that, but then it doesn't kind of. Yeah, because you can get rid of that stool and just do that. That's fine. I suppose that works. But I still th I'm worried about the height problem. There we go. Yeah, move it one down. We've already, yeah, move we've one, already said one you can down, move it yeah. one down. But then, like, the, the height of this room won't be that large, but then it's better than nothing, I suppose. Let's also have the room. Yeah, it's not the end of the world. That's what I mean. Yes, builders wandered up. What's that there? Neon lamp. Just, just have that be in a circle around it. It's fine. You can have that be like a VIP room or something. <laughs> well, I know circular. Mm. Yeah, that's not a bad idea actually. Wait, what are you gonna do? Up here. What are you gonna do up here? I, I just. I don't know. Or just keep the chandelier. Yeah. yeah. But okay. you're gonna have to put some up there. What? Should you just make it like a wooden roof? Okay, you can't quite get through that. Uh, and you can't get through that either. Like, quote, there's a bit of a problem with what's, this. What's wrong? Is in if you have that block there to hand, I might be able to solve it by having a half slab. Yeah, you get the platform. No, you it? get the platform. Yeah. Wait, wait there, Morgan. Yeah. Platform. There yeah, there's a specialised block for it. Was there? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just let me delete that one and then put that there. There we go. Ah, okay. That that looks a lot better actually. Okay. Then, so I think um, what I'll do, guys, is we'll write back when we have something more to show you guys. Okay guys, we're back. So as you can see, we've got the uh, bar sorted out now. So we've got, like, it's been shortened down a bit. We've now got an upstairs on the go, which I'll go and show you guys now. So, Ethan, you've been doing the upstairs? Uh, yeah. So yeah, we've not really been able to fit any um, windows or anything in, just due, due to how the builders uh, built. But I put a few lamps in. I think it looks okay. We've now got a clock and some extra stuff. Are we going to have a second bar upstairs, or are we just going to have people get their drinks um, and have, they have to go downstairs? I don't know, I think it'd be good as a seating area. But yeah, I think we could have we, should, we could have a mini bar, maybe. Maybe. Do you think that would be a cool idea, Corey? I don't know, I don't think you really need a bar upstairs. You, you can always go back downstairs to get your drinks. I suppose then all you have to do is just walk up. I'm scared about drunk <laughs> people trying to traverse these stairs. <laughs> Wobbly not. Well, this is more of the family area, I suppose. What, what's... Yeah, well, I suppose. I suppose at Westy Spoons, if you've got the app, you can order to your table. <laughs> yeah. They actually do that at Weather Spoons. Uh, they do actually. Yeah, if you've got the app on your phone, you just tell them which Weather Spoons you're at and what table. It gets it directly to you. I didn't know you could do that. Actually, that sounds pretty cool. Actually. Yeah. Dumb. 
Yeah, so is that the upstairs complete? I yeah. think so. Do you want to do be. a role play for this and then yep. call that an episode? Yep, let's, let's go, go for a role play. Hello, sir. Uh, okay, uh, sir, goodbye. Uh, ah, after a long day at work, I think uh, I'm going to go over to the Westy Spoons. Here we go. Almost crashed. Make sure I do it like they taught me in driving school. Here we go. Ooh, I haven't seen this shop before. I don't think I can afford any of these clothes anyway. Wow, this looks like a cool building. Hello, sir. Oh, uh, hello. Can I order some roast chicken and a pint of beer, please? Yes, you may. I'll bring it up to your table. Hello, sir. Hello again. Here's your uh, roast chicken, your beer, jacket potato, your bread, your uh, rabbit stew, your cooked uh, mutton chop. I, I didn't know these rabbit. came included, sir. Oh, yeah, it's all part of the uh, food. If you'd have read the menu, it says included at the bottom. Uh, how much gold is that, sir? Uh, it's exactly 64 gold, please. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> okay, guys, that's that's the end of the role play. I think we'll end the video off here. So thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. I've been Peter Plum. I've been Helen Westy. And I've been uh, Lordy.